What's going on, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between? It is I, Neon Yumi A, and I'm here to present you with some greatness. So, um, as an artist, as an individual who knows about makeup and like knows about color theory and stuff, one of the things I always see that pops up in discussions about makeup, particularly, is the discussion of if something is like ashy or not. A lot of times, people who think something is ashy, they're actually wrong. So. I'm gonna make a video about it because I, I wanna talk about it. So today's video is gonna be like each one teach one moment. It's gonna be a bit educational. There's gonna be a tutorial in here, don't worry. But for the most part, this is just kind of like to debunk the idea of ashy and what it actually means and how it applies to makeup and when and when something should be ashy. Hi, if it's your first time here, hello, welcome. My name is Darius, also known as Neon, also known as Neon Amy Way, also known as Great Ready Frank Ocean. Y'all know. I make music vi music videos. Shit. I make makeup videos, makeup reviews, tutorials, um, other things of that nature. If you're interested in watching any of those videos, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as well so that you don't miss the next time I upload. And at any point, if you're enjoying yourself and enjoying me and the content that I'm creating, then go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up, like, and support. It means so much. And without further ado, we're gonna get into this video. In each one, teach one moment and talk about the whole concept of ashiness, cool tones, warm tones, things of that nature and how it applies to makeup. So, let's go. It's one of them nights. It's one of them nights, I feel it. It's one of them nights, no inhibitions. Okay, so just to like break down this whole concept, this whole idea, um, whenever we're referring to something as ashy, a lot of times that's being referred to in makeup. Um, it's mostly seen when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, eyeshadow colors, things of that nature. And um, some people like to call eyeshadow palettes ashy. There are some eyeshadow palettes that are ashy. However, a lot of times people are mixing up what is considered to be ashy with what is considered to be like cool or even neutral tones. So just to kind of like break that down some, um, when it comes to the term ashy, the easiest way to describe what ash is, um, I mean like there's obviously like a dictionary term of what ash is, but when we're referring to it in makeup, something that is ashy really just means that that product is lacking a color that is intended to have. Key word in that sentence is intended to have. For example, you have a colorful eyeshadow palette that looks like it's gonna have this rich color, all this beautiful pigment, and then when it's actually applied or swatched, the color looks dry, the color looks like it's, it doesn't have the vibrancy that it looks like in pan, anything of that nature, then that means that it is ashy. So just because something in makeup is considered ashy doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. One of the things that we want to be quote unquote ashy is oftentimes brow products. So take a ride with me. Um, if you ever look at any brow company, any pro any company that sells brow products, a lot of times the darkest color in their range for a brow pencil or brow pomade or whatever have you is considered a shade called granite. The shade granite is often considered ashy because it is black, but it also has like a gray cast to it. And that gray cast is what's gonna help the brow look more lifelike, look more realistic, give it more dimension, and ultimately make the brow look natural. And so that is an instance where ash is needed and ash is necessary. Now, the problem that I have is that a lot of people tend to throw out this term ashy on products that are actually considered cool tone or even neutral tones. A lot of times people think just because something is cool tone, um, it is ashy. A lot of times people even throw around the term ashy when they're referring to something that is pastel. Um, cool tone palettes, neutral tone palettes, pastel colors, all of these products are meant to have the appearance that they have. Cool tones are meant to look cooler. They're not supposed to be warm. Everything is, every brown isn't supposed to be warm. That's important. Every brown shade is not supposed to be warm. There are supposed to be shades that are supposed to be cool. Some shades are supposed to be neutral. Every color on the color wheel is not intended to be bright and vibrant. Some colors are intended to be softer, have a lighter appearance, these are pastels. A pastel is nothing more than a color that has 
had white added to it. Like you can literally make pastel, any pastel, like if you have a red paint and add white to it, that makes it red or pink, a soft red or pink, that is a pastel. So because that white has been added to it, people automatically think, oh, it's ashy, that's not the case. Um, because people think that something is cool tone, cool tone is close to gray, automatically they think, oh, that is an ashy shade, and it's not. And kind of the reason why I wanted to do this video is because of the fact that a lot of companies have started releasing cool tone grayscale eyeshadow palettes lately and people automatically think they're ashy. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you guys a cool tone eyeshadow palette as well as a warm tone eyeshadow palette so you guys can get the idea of what is considered to be ashy or not. So a few eyeshadow palettes that I know people have like thrown that term around, any pastel palette, <laughs> any pastel palette that comes out people automatically are going to say that it's ashy because they don't understand that pastels are supposed to be that intended color. Now if the pastel isn't pigmented enough, then we have a problem and that's when it's quote unquote ashy. But just because a shade is a pastel, it doesn't mean it's ashy. Another time when people automatically throw around this ashy term is anytime they see palettes like ColourPop's Tote palette, Natasha Denona's Glam palette, any palette that has gray, mauves, cool tone blues, people automatically think that it's ashy. So, what I want to do is show you guys two palettes that literally are the same in terms of richness and depth, but because of the tones and undertones of these shades, they are cool and warm tones and how, just because something's cool, it doesn't mean that it's actually. So, right here we have the ColourPop Bare Necessities palette. This is one of the 30 pan palettes. This is a warm tone palette. Essentially, you're gonna find a lot of warm tone browns. You're gonna see some berry-ish tones in here as well some tan shades in here um this is what we considered warm tone and a lot of people think that if browns look like if browns don't look like this then it's obviously actually it's not and then we have from ColourPop as well the stone Cold fox palette this is a cool tone palette to be completely honest 80 percent of both of these palettes are the same in terms of richness and hue however the warmth and undertone of these shades are different so what i want to do now is I'm going to create two looks, two identical looks in terms of shape and the colors that I use. And I'm going to be one's going to be the warmer version, one's going to be the cooler version, just so you guys can see how different shades can be and how you can tell when something is warm and cool or actually ashy. So here we go. Hi. So let's get into it. This is probably going to be a very simple eye. But like I said, the purpose of this look is to show you guys the difference between these shades. So I'm not so focused on the technicality as much as I'm focused on how these shades differ. I am going to first take the shade from the Bare Necessities palette. I'm going to take the shade Bobbles. Bobbles is a stony brown shade. This shade is actually more neutral than Warm Tone. And I'm going to take that and apply that on the outer third of the eye. Holy crap, this shadow is pigmented. Also, if you haven't tried like ColourPop's 30 pan palettes, these palettes low key are the best things out there. <laughs> like, I don't know if they have a different formula, but it feels like they're, they're just that good. Next, I'm gonna take that shade Taboo that I was showing you guys earlier. That's that lighter brown and apply that in the crease build that up next i'm going to take the shade hot hot is more of a brick shade is a, like a terracotta brick shade and i'm going to use that to blend my crease softly soften it up and soften i also want to let you guys know that this whole like color idea story situation also applies to metallic shades as well so i'm going to take this shade the talk the talk is like a pale yellow gold and i'm just going to apply that to the lid for the bottom lash line it's going to be pretty much the same i'm going to take this shade bubbles apply it in the outer third of the bottom lash line take the shade taboo buff that out along the rest of the bottom lash line and then take 
that shade hot and just buff everything out. So like I said, that is the warm tone eye. As you can see, this has like some gold shades in there. It has some uh, burnt orange shades in there. So now we're gonna move over into the Stunko Fox palette. We're going to do the exact same eye, just using cooler neutral shades. And you're going to see that these shades aren't ashy. To start, I'm going to take the shade Drama Mama. Drama Mama is the uh, cooler equivalent of the shade Bubbles. So, same as before, applying that in the outer third of the eye. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Fickle Fate, um, and that would be the cooler alternative to that shade Taboo. Um, this shade is actually more neutral as opposed to taboo. So, but these shades look very similar. I will say that. So, if you happen to have these palettes, then you'll notice that some of the shades in these palettes are actually very similar, if not the same. Um, the more likely those shades have a neutral undertone to them. Also, also cool is not synopsis for ashy. You can have something that is warm tone and it's still ashy. It's perfect example is if you have like an orange, because orange is a, can be a tough, well not a tough shade, but orange can be a tricky shade at some points. An orange shade that is not the, like I said, the intended pigment and color and hue and saturation that it's supposed to have, is ashy. And now you're gonna see more of that like difference between cool tones and warm tones. I'm gonna to take the shade Gravity Hill and Gravity Hill is a mauve. Um, in case you guys aren't like aware of like what an actual mauve is. Essentially, mauve just means that a pink, purple shade has a gray, cooler undertone to it. As you can see, even before I get into like the lid color and everything, the eye over here is a warmer hue, especially in that, um, the crease area on this side the shades are more pinkish cooler shades but all of the tones rest in the same area and wheelhouse um, that's why I use those brown shades in the crease just so you can see how the shades differ and as you can see this is still not ashy moving on into the lid space itself I'm going to take a shade that is also more cool tone I'm going to take the shade segment to be and this is more of a taupe shade um, and taupe is a shade that a lot of times people will often throw out there as ashy as well when in reality taupe is just a gray that has like a brown shift to it that's why a lot of people felt as though the ColourPop taupe palette was ashy a lot of people felt like Natasha Denona's glam palette was ashy and to be honest they weren't now, Natasha's palette just needed some more mattes in it, but it's not ashy. I don't think that palette is ashy, per se. And we're literally going to do the exact same thing on the bottom. So again, I am taking that shade Drama Mama, applying it in the outer third. Going in with that shade Fickle Fate, and buffing that into the inner third. And then using that shade Gravity Hill to buff out that bottom lash line. All right, and as you can see, the eyes are done, and I literally used the same type of colors, the same type of hues, the same type of depth in the shades. It's just that one shade, or one side of the shades are more warm. So you have yellow golds, you have some terracotta oranges, some more warm and neutral type shades. This side is a cooler side, so you have some taupes in there, some silver, some berry mauve shades. Ultimately, neither one of these are ashy. They both have the richness, they both have the intended color that they're supposed to have, and they both look great. All right, you guys, so this is the end of the video, and hopefully you learned something from this. Hopefully you've understood that what ashy actually means um, and how it pertains to color, as well as not mixing up like ashy with cool tones and what the difference in cool tones and warm tones are. Ultimately, a lot of things that we've considered to be bad aren't necessarily as bad and it's just that we hopped on trends and we're willing to cancel 
something that actually isn't that bad. Like a perfect example, I'm gonna tell you right now, the perfect example of an eyeshadow palette that is ashy is that Lemonade Craze palette that Maybelline came out with last or a few years ago. That shit is ashy because that, especially that yellow shade and the pinky shade that's in that palette, both of those are intended to be more pigmented, more rich, and as you see when you actually use them, they're not. So that's an example of a palette that is ashy. Um, but like I said, just because a palette is cool tone doesn't mean it's ashy. Just because a palette has shades like taupe in it doesn't mean it's ashy. Um, ultimately, I just think that we have got to get a better understanding of what color theory actually is. Because if you notice, a lot of people who are like artists and actually know color theory and know the craft of makeup didn't call a lot of these palettes as ashy as y'all did. So, just some. Um, but alright you guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. If you enjoyed yourself, which I hope you did, then go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up like and support. It means so much. Also, if you want to continue seeing my face on your YouTube feed, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as well so that you don't miss the next time that I upload. Um, look at me being consistent. Look at me putting out posts and, and, and videos and shit. Is that going to last long? Probably not. I'll see you guys. Make sure you follow me on all my social media accounts as well. That is Neon MUA on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. 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 People respect self esteem. And TikTok. I love to have you guys be part of Fireflies family because social media is fun. Um, despite the fact that Twitter has that got off the fleet feature that doesn't work and Instagram is turned into a marketplace, uh, follow me. It'll be great. Also follow me on my fashion Instagram as well, Style by Neon. Still working on getting more content out. We're, we're getting there, it's a work in progress. Listen, I have a job. I have a nine to five. Or one to nine, depending on my shift. Also make sure you guys support the Dust to Dawn and Level Up collections from Midas and Estaco respectfully. Respectfully? Respectively, respectively, Jesus Christ, the English language. Make sure you follow me on or support both of those. Obviously, by the time this video is out, Black Friday has already happened, but there are still going to be holiday sales going on for both Estico and Midas, so definitely support those. The Dusted On Collab has restocked, so if there's ever been a palette you wanted to get and couldn't get before, get it now. And uh, that's going to be it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And if all hearts and minds are clear, Lotion up, don't be ashy yourself, and watch another video. Enjoy melanated greatness. Oh, wow, wow.